riddles and the dark This is the story of young hobbit named Bilbo Baggins and his adventure with a merry, merry band of great dogs and a wizard who travel high and low to go to the misty mountains, the former home of these dogs. Following a series of rather unfortunate events, Bilbo would embark on this perilous adventure, one that took him far away from the comforts of his hobby home, back in the Shire where he came from. Two of his friends, Weaver and Tobias, could not let Bilbo go out on his own, since they always wanted to see life outside the Shire, and so they followed Bilbo and company too. Along the way, Bilbo and his companion had to face many dangers, from ox, goblins, and many other evil creatures. As they escaped from a giant goblin king who wanted to eat them, Bilbo, Bilbo, and Tobias got lost in the caves that the goblins called home. When Bilbo opened his eyes, he wondered if he really had for it was as dark as when his eyes were shut. He was all alone. He could hear nothing, see nothing, and he could feel nothing except a cold stone fog. Hello, are you there, Tobias? Yes, yes, I'm here. Wilbur? Fine and dandy, thank you very much. Very slow, slowly, Bilbo got up and groped about on all fours till he touched the wall of the tunnel. His head was spinning and he was uncertain as to which direction he had been going when he had fallen. He guessed as well as he could and crawled, all, crawled along for a good way. Suddenly, his head met what felt like a tiny ring of cold metal lying on the floor of the tunnel. It was a turning point in his life, but he did not know it. Put the ring in his pocket almost without thinking. He went only a little further, then sat down on the cold floor. He could not think of what to do. Any idea of where we are, Bilbo? Bilbo rested his head on his head. He couldn't remember what had happened, or why they had been left behind, or even why his head was so sore. But after a while, he drew out his little elvish sword, stick, and somehow looking at it gave him comfort. So what now? Do we go back, Mom? Go back? Back, can I? Go sideways? Where can? Go forward? The only way, I suppose. So up he got, trying to steady himself carefully. Do you need help, Bilbo? Where are you, Wilbur? If you were paused for a moment, wondering what he had even seen it. Full of a two, I can't really see you. And you want to try Bilbo, huh? Just trying to help Uma. Bilbo shook his head as he walked on with his sword, held in front of him. And one hand filling the wall. On and on he went, down and down. Behind him, he could hear Bilbo and Tobias falling closely. Suddenly, he trotted without warning into icy cold water. That put him up shot. He stopped and listened often, and he could hear drops drip, drip, dripping from an unseen roof into the water below. But there was no sound of water flowing. So it must be poor on me. Deep down here, by the dark of the water, the old golem. A small, slimy creature. It was dark as darkness, except for two big brown pill eyes in his thin face. He leaped on a slimy island of rock in the middle of the lake. Bilbo could not see him. The goblin was watching him now from a distance, with his pale eyes like telescopes. Gollum got into his little boat and shot up from the island. He paddled it with his large feet dangling over the side, but never a ripple did he make. Bilbo was sitting on the water spring at the end of his ways and his reeds. When Gollum paddled his boat closer, his eyes glowing softly in the dark. Before Thomas could say something, Gollum hissed. The tree harvest jumped back with a fright. Bilbo swung his sword in Gollum's direction. Well, hello there, my precious. We have just a feast for thing, yes? And it's a tasty morsel to fill empty tummies for days. Come. Who are you, huh? Dad! Who are you? What is he, my precious? My name is Bilbo Baggins. Whoever you are, this is Bilbo and Tobias. Actually, I am Bilbo, huh? Shh! Our other friend, the dwarves and wizard, are missing. I think we are lost. Hmm? What's he got his hands, eh? Come. My sword stinks. A black made by the elf in the Goblin War. It don't say so, yes? Well, why is he come sits here and chats a bit, see my precious? He likes riddles, it does, does it? Go 
of the most anxious to be friendly until you found out more about the store and the homies, whether they were quite alone and whether they were good to eat. Gollum was already keen on having three hobbits on his menu.